Hello students, welcome to my channel. In today's class, you will learn the basic terms in accounting. Entity. As you know, all of we have a identity. Yes, having the identity or having your own individual existence is called entity. Entity means a reality that has a definite individual existence. Either it is a person, organization or anything which has a identity or individual existence is called entity. Business entity means a specifically identifiable business. So you will find different kinds of business. So how we will differentiate all the business? Because it has its own identity or it has its own individual existence and that is called business identity and the thing is the owner and the company both are not seen the company has its own individuality and the owner has its own individuality so the company and the owner they are two separate entities got all of you the meaning of entity next is transaction any monetary activity or any monetary event taking place between two or more person or two or more entities is called transaction. Like making the payment, receiving the amount, purchasing of goods or selling the goods, cash paid, rent paid, rent received. So any kind of monetary transaction taking place between two or more persons is called transactions and these transactions will be cash transaction or credit transaction okay the transaction will not be always cash transaction sometime it will be the credit transaction for example the company has purchased the raw material but the payment on that raw material they will pay after some time so there will be the cash transaction and credit transaction Next is assets. Anything which has a monetary value that is called asset. For example, if you have uh, land, building, machinery, car, bike, etc. So all these have a monetary value. So anything which has a monetary value is called assets. Or assets are the economic resources of an enterprise that can be expressed in monetary terms and these assets are classified into two types current assets and non-current assets okay assets are classified into two types current assets and non-current assets now what do you mean by current assets current assets are the short term assets or the assets which can be easily converted into cash for example cash bills receivable trade receivable or any kind of short term investments or the assets which can be easily converted into cash are called current assets non current assets are long term assets or the fixed assets which cannot be easily converted into cash for example land, building, machinery, equipment, plant, long-term investments. So, these all are the examples of non-current assets. Next is liabilities. Liabilities are the obligations or debt that an enterprise has to pay at some time in future. The, as I told you, the transactions will not be always cash transaction sometime it will be credit transaction also and this credit transaction or the credit activity is called liability for example the company has taken loan or advances from the banks or financial institutions or some from uh, other companies is called liability or they have purchased the raw materials or uh, machinery and payment on that is outstanding due that is called liability or short term loans taken from the friends or from creditors 
or debenture is called liability. So liabilities are the obligations or debt that the company has to pay in future. And these liabilities are classified into two parts. Current liabilities and non-current liabilities. Okay. Current liabilities and non-current liabilities. Current liabilities are short-term liabilities or short-term loans. For example, loan taken from friends or from any credit society, bills payable, etc. Non-current non liabilities are long-term liabilities or long-term loans taken from the banks or financial institution. So, this is about the liability. Next is capital. To start any kind of business, what we require? We require money and the amount invested by the owner to start that company or to start that business is called capital. Amount invested by the owner in the firm is known as capital. Firm means business. So the whatever the amount invested by the owner in that business is called capital and this capital may be in the form of cash or assets. Next is drawing. Money or goods withdrawn by the owner from the business for his personal use is called drawing. Understood the meaning of drawing? If the owner withdraws the money from the business for his personal use, it is called as drawings. For example, Mr. A has a business and from his business, he has withdrawn some 10,000 rupees to pay the, uh, his children's school fee, etc. So, it is considered as drawing. If the amount is used for his personal use, then it is called drawing. Debtors. Debtors are the individuals or entity that have borrowed money from individual or business and therefore owe money. So, these debtors are the persons or the entity who have borrowed the money from some other person or from some other entities is called debtor. And creditors are the individuals or entity that have lent the money to other individual or entity. So, debtor are the person who have borrowed the money, that is, who have taken the loans or advances from some other person, they are called debtor. And creditors are the person who have lent the money, who have given the loans and advances to some other person, they are called creditor. So, debtor are the borrower because they have borrowed the money from some other person. And creditor are the lender because they have given the loans and advances to some other person. So, this is the meaning of creditor and debtor. Next is sales. So, whatever the income or revenue earned by the, gained by the company by selling the goods or by rendering the services to the customer is called sales. So, Sales are the total revenues from goods or services provided to customers is called sales. And this sales can be cash sales or credit sales. Next is purchases. Purchase of raw material or purchase of final product for the business use or for sale is called purchases. So the purchases are the total amount of goods procured by a business on credit and cash for use or sale is called purchase. So, this purchase is also may be credit purchase or cash purchase. Next is voucher. The documentary evidence in support of a transaction is known as voucher. Okay. When you will go for shopping, after completing the shopping, you make the payment. Yes. And after making the payment, you uh, go for asking the bill or receipt. 
so this bill or receipt is called voucher so the voucher is the documentary evidence in support of a transaction is known as voucher hope you got the topic the basic terms in accounting if you have any doubt regarding any topic please let me know in the comment section and for more such videos do like share and subscribe my channel thank you students